I saw it on a new radio today, and it's a Joe Pix CB413, which looks remarkably like the Capo Panther, which we use on the bench here, and works quite well. I think this one's a little cheaper. So what's in here? Yeah, well it's the same, isn't it? So you get one of these Euro adapters, which I was so annoyed about on the uh, President Randy, but you do at least get quite a nice and fused adapter with it. And you know, when you're paying well, £199 for that radio, and you just presented with that, I really think that is the pits. So it's got some power in it, it's come on uh, with a flat battery symbol. I'll leave the aerial in the box. got enough mains lead to to actually get to a power point at least we can start with some of the setting up type of things I could also borrow the battery off the other one it goes somewhere Okay, there's a cover on the bottom of the battery. So, is it one of these chargers that lights up? Does anything light up? Yes, the charger has a LED on it and that's lit up. I noticed a comment on the Capo Panther, somebody bought one and said the transmitted audio is quiet. Well, this is what we're here to do. This is what I'm here to show you because transmitted audio is quiet on nearly everything. Good grief, I've got the RAF a bit close. It's a very small instruction book. So for UK, it says it's going to allow CPT in AM and of course the UK channels in FM, that's a bit bizarre. So EU would, pre uh, would present FM and AM on the CPT only channels. It says it's going to do 4 watts but it just has the word maximum RF power is 4 watts. So, switching on we press the function key which says F on the side So we can now move up these. I thought we could.
it's keyboard locked isn't it that's I'll just unlock the keyboard we'll try that again so function when switching on and where we have you when the fun the country is detected selected press the F key and there we are switch off switch back on and we're in UK mode so are they right that let's put it to channel 20 and we'll set the signal generator uh, to 2779125 for channel 20 I'm going to have to go looking for a TNC adapter to plug it into the test set. I'm just going to present that somewhere close for now just to prove we've got channel 20. So if we now go to the AM FM button. So the first press it says AM, second press it says FM. So I think we're still back to, yeah I think we're actually, I think it's right. It's going to go to CPT AM, not FM. How bizarre. So we'll reset the signal generator for 27205. So now we have 27205. Uh, we'll need to select AM. So what happens if we put it to FM? I'm just listening to that squelch chat. Let's go back to the FM channels. Override the squelch. Go to the AM channel. Override the squelch. Well, it sounds the same. I, I honestly think that's wrong. I think it's I think it's doing CPT FM because that's not AM. Anyway, well, I'll, I'll dig up the TNC adapter and we'll soon find out. So that is a load of bunken. So you'd have to go into EU to get into AM. Well, let's 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 do that. We we can do that. So we'll switch on function key, and we'll put it into EU. So we'll put, select channel 20, FM. And listen to the squelch tail. Okay, now we'll switch it to AM. Go to AM on the test set. And listen to the squelch tail. FM squelch tail, AM squelch tail. Okay, go back to UK. Right, channel 20. Squelch tail. I would keep it the same volume. No, it's FM. So it says AM on the display, but it's FM. <laughs> what a load of cod's wallop. You know what? I think our other one does the same. I don't think there's any change. Let's look at our other one. Because I never use it except on UK. 
So we'll override the squelch. AM, FM, AM. Yeah, it's just the same. It's got the same error in this write up. So it's CPT FM. Well, that sorted that one out, didn't it? So I'll go hunting for a TNC adapter and then we'll see what the radio does. So I've dug up a TNC adapter, so that will screw onto the aerial adapter. It's going to be an adapter tree in a moment. I think we've got TNC to SO239. That'll be uh, that'll be easier. Okay, so switch picture in picture on. I did go and do a shopping job for one of my elderly customers, so this radio has been on charge for a couple of hours now. Is it still charging? I can't see. So I'll do it on its. We're on the 3 watt range, and it's doing 2 watts. Let's go back on to see, uh, onto UK channels. Oh, that's better. Why is it doing more power on? <laughs> it's on high power on, it says H on the display. It's actually doing 3.3 watts. Let's go back to CPT. That says high power. And CPT channels 1.7 watts. How bizarre is that? Well, I'm glad we don't use CPT. How strange. Let's try that charger on this other set. Yeah. I'll pause the video while we find out what's not working. So just like I did on the capo, I have opened it up to show there's actually no adjustments inside. So you're either lumbered with what it does or it's somehow got some menu which we didn't find on the last one so very nicely made no point going any further I did on the other one but it's going to be the same arrangement we'll pop that back together we'll try and pop that back together Right, so we roll on about four hours. We've actually got some charge in this thing, and it's uh, the charge is now lit up green. So I'm glad I, I know it, what it does. Uh, looking at the instruction book, um, unlike the Capo version, which throughout the instruction book spoke about um, President Randy Two, which is what it was. Uh, this throughout says it's the Jopix CB413, including the certificate of conformity at the end. Uh, so, quite clearly says it's Jopix C uh, CB413. If you looked at the instruction book for the, um, well, I keep forgetting the no name of the uh, capo, uh, it, throughout the thing it said it was President um, Randy 2, which 
I thought it was a poor show they should have redone that. It was just obviously bought a put a different case type of thing. So I, as you see, I went inside just to check it wasn't a different version. It is the same version, and there are no adjustments whatsoever. There are no service menus as I'm aware of. I don't know what they do, whether these are set on test at the factory or whether there's some kind of uh, PC programming for optimization, which is nothing we can do. So there is nothing we can do. So the person who says to me, uh, I, I, it's got audio which is dreadful. Well, it's got audio that's dreadful then. And uh, my answer was incorrect that it can be optimized because it can't. So let's now look at what it's doing. So, switch it on. And we make sure we're in low power because I don't want to flatten the batteries while I do the deviation test. So I'll do it with a whistle test and let's see whether well, it started off on channel 9, which is naughty of it. I want it on channel 20. So we're going to use the Jitagi meter and we're just going to see what it's doing on there for a start. So on low power, it's just doing over the 1 watt and if we go to high power, it says that it's doing about 5.5 Jitagi watts, when I bet it isn't. So we'll go on to the test set. Just put that meter back. And on high power with a nicely charged battery. So that's five watts. So four watts would be there. It's doing 4.1 watts. So there you go. And on low power, just switch my there we go. And on low power, 3 watts is full scale. So let's see about 1. That's That would be there. Yeah, 900 milliwatts, just under 1 watt. So it certainly does the power. So now we'll look at the deviation. 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2. One two one two one two one two one two Wallo One two one two Wallo One two one two one two one two one two Wallo Well it's actually reading over the top uh, one two it's reading about three just try it in high power just in case there's a anomaly One two one two one two. Okay, so it reads about three. So it uh, it certainly doesn't need adjusting. But in a normal voice, just go back to low power and save that battery. Testing one two. Testing one two. One two. One two one two. One two one two one two. Wallo. Should be all right. I wonder if it works with the um, Maxcom. Sorry, Max on speaker mic there seems to be two standards in use Kenwood which we have know nothing about and Maxon which we know a lot about so let's just plug this in because definitely the bigger one is the uh, speaker on this no it's not the right spacing so I couldn't get that kind of plug in so whether or not president do an extension mic I don't know but while we've got the little flap open, we'll look at the sensitivity and what it's doing cyanide-wise. Okay. So I'll set the... I'll tell you what, before we leave this, we'll just check what it's doing on frequency.
27.79123. You couldn't argue with that, that's fine. Oh, been caught on the tannoy system by Mr Chippy. OK, so I responded to Mr Chippy. It turns out he cooked my tea for me. Now, being from Yorkshire originally, even if I am living in Lincolnshire, the meal format is breakfast, dinner and tea. Supper would be that small snack before bed. So, yeah, now where were we? We were going to look at the cyanide reading. So we'll put this back on. got some hum coming through. Not sure whether the test sets. Okay, so that's 12 dB and we have got 0 0.6. Let's just go to this other screen. It's 0.1. Let's change, go down one. Oh, I've got the charger plugged in. That's where the noise is coming from. So we're doing 0 0.27 of a microvolt for 12 decibel cyanide. So let's see what it says in the book. Well, it says better than 0 0.2 microvolts for 12 decibel cyanide. Well, it isn't better than 2, it's 0.27. So, I'm not going to say that the radio is faulty. What I am going to say is that I think that's a bit far-fetched. Now, when we looked at it initially, the power output on the CPT set of channels, when it erroneously says AM on the display, was lower. So, we're just going to check that again. So, what we've got... We've got about one watt and we've got a good four watts. So we'll just go over to the CPT set of channels. We're still on channel 20. Let's go back to the power meter. I'm going to start off on low power because that's where we are. So we're on the low scale. So if it was doing one watt, we're going to be there. And we're still at one watt. So let's go over to high power. And we'll go back to the 30 watt scale. So we're looking at there. It is doing less power. It's doing... It's doing three watts. Not sure why that is. And if we go back to the other band... I'm going to press scan. Let's got rid of that. Now then, back to FM, uh, for UK. It's doing a good 4 watts. I don't know why that is. 3 watts on CPT, 4 watts on UK. I just wonder if it's less for AM and it half thinks it is in AM. But it isn't in FM, it's de in AM, it's definitely FM when it's CPT. So we've got a bit of a software anomaly. It doesn't affect me at all because we only use the UK set of channels. So uh, it's got the same foibles as the um, as the other one. I'm sure it has. Um, 
let's just let's just prove it. Right, so I, mean, I don't know what state of charge this battery is in, so we'll just uh, look at it on, we'll go to high power. So there we are, we're on UK set of channels, so here goes. Just over the 4 watts. Let's now switch it to CPT set of channels, which like the other set says AM when it isn't. Yeah, it's about two watts. Absolutely bizarre. I think if you want to use CPT you jolly well program it to the EU mode and uh, <laughs> and that's where it's going to be. So apart from that it works great. Certainly just for the UK set of channels which is what we base all our demonstrations on. So what we'll do now is we'll plug it into the roof aerial. It's just got jolly good sensitivity. It's doing the full four watts. It's doing the deviation. You can't adjust anything unless somebody comes up with a service manual and can show me differently. That's the conclusion we come to. So we'll do a scratchy corner test, it will be done on batteries from the base station area just like this. That will actually be done straight after this video ends. We'll have a flick round, I'll, res I'll take the squelch off. One nine, roger. So there we have it. You certainly need the instruction book. There's a lot of features, uh, including things like that, Roger Bleep and, and that. Um, so it has its foibles. <laughs> so does the other one. So will the present Randy 2, which is long discontinued. And I think this even may appear in another in another version, but it's not an expensive set. And I know when we tested the other one, we got reasonably good range. I think we got to Scratchy Corner okay on the Rubber Duck Aerial. So we'll be doing that. We're doing a field test in the future, but this we'll uh, be doing the on-the-air test where we we'll keep it plugged into this aerial and talk to Mr. Chippy as he drives away. So thank you for watching the Joe Pix CB413 current model as I record this in 2021.